Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another quick trail tip. I got some time today, so I thought I'd come outside and do a quick little trail tip. It is a little breezy, so if the background starts moving, don't worry about it. But I'm going to show you the correct way to grip a trek pole. Now when you first see trek poles, they're, they're on their website listed like this, or posted all over the internet with pictures like this. This is the way they're hanging in the store. And this is the configuration that they are when you actually use them. So it's natural for somebody to think you simply put your hand through the strap and grip them. This is the wrong way to do it, folks. The correct way is to come up from underneath and then come back down onto the pole. This is a much better method of doing this. And the reason being is part of the reason you have these poles is to help maintain your balance. But there's no guarantee that you will never fall. So it's natural if you stumble that you want to reach out and, and catch yourself. And which would you rather have when that happens? My right hand or my left hand? Now take a look at the way this is configured right now. The pole is still right here in the ball of my hand. I can do a lot of damage if I stumble and fall with this pole right here. I can pull muscles and tendons and I can break bones because I've got a lever right here. Try this with your truck pole at home if you have one and see what I mean. Once you get to a certain point, your hand is forced to move. And if your hand is on the ground, and this is being pushed up somehow because of your fall, you can do, do yourself a lot of injury. This way, it's rel much, much safer. It's much relatively safer. I can't think of any configuration that this is going to hurt me. So this is Backpack Hat coming at you with the right way to grip your trek pole. Be safe out there. Don't stumble, but if you do, make sure that you are holding these correctly, and I'll see you out there on the trail.